Syracuse. He's going to defend the west goal, and they'll kick off. So it'll be Syracuse defending the west goal and kicking off. Penn State receiving and defending the east goal. Here are scores of other games. At the end of the first quarter, Lafayette 7, Bucknell nothing. At the end of the first quarter, Rutgers 6, Richmond nothing. At the end of the first quarter, Dartmouth 13, Harvard nothing. At the end of the first half, Tennessee 2, Maryland nothing. At the end of the first quarter, Yale nothing, Colgate nothing. At the end of the first half, Navy 21, Pennsylvania nothing. At the end of the first quarter, Carnegie Tech 7, Washington and Jefferson nothing. And at the end of the first quarter, Amherst nothing, Wesleyan nothing. The score here is Penn State 13, Syracuse 12, and it's going to be now number 88, Dick Lassie, kicking off for Syracuse. For Penn State, the deep man, Dave Kasparian, number 46 at the top of your screen, Andy McCartney, number 14, at the bottom of your screen. Lassie is waiting now for the referee's whistle, and the second half will be underway. Kick is on the ground, bounding down, taken by Les Walters on the 34. Walters gets up across the 40 and he's brought down on his own 41-yard line. Chuck Fogarty, number 29, and Ed Coffin, number 36, made the tackle. So it is first and 10 now for Penn State. They have the ball on their own 41-yard line. In the backfield, Kasperi and Richie Lucas, number 33, is the quarterback in there. Quick handoff play to Andy McConney. Mike Bill and Jerry Hershey came in to make the tackle. Picked up at most a yard to the 42, so it's going to be second down and nine. In the backfield now for Penn State, number 46 is Dave Kasparian, number 14 is Andy McConney, number 34 is Emil Caprera, and Richie Lucas is the quarterback, number 33. This is Kasparian carrying, and Kasparian goes across the 50-yard line and all the way to the 40 seven-yard line of Syracuse and that's a first down for Penn State. Ed Coffin 36, Chuck Fogarty 29 made the tackle. Richie Lucas the sophomore in there for Penn State gives it off to McConey the right halfback heading back to the inside got across the 45 to the 44 picked up three. We interrupt this program to bring you a bulletin from the NBC newsroom in New York. Moscow Radio says the Russian parliament has relieved Marshal Georgi Zhukov as Minister of Defense. Stay tuned to your NBC station for the later news. Picked up about a yard as Mike Bell and Dick Lassie came over to make the tackle. Third down and six yards to go for Penn State. As the Nittany Lions have the ball on the Syracuse, 43-yard line. Andy Marconi, the right halfback, set to the left side. Richie Lucas rolls out, throws down the middle. And it's completed to Jack Barles, number 89. He goes to the 30-yard line. Jack Barles, number 89, took the pass. Tackled by Tom Stevens, number 44. So it's going to be now first down and 10 yards to go for Penn State. Ball is just short of the 30, so we'll call it the 31-yard line. And the Nittany Lions are moving that ball. They flank the right halfback. Andy Marconi to the left side. Richie Lucas on the keeper. Gets to the 30. Mike Bell, number 59. Ron Luciano, number 78, made the tackle. It'll be second down and nine yards to go for Penn State. The Nittany Lions are leading Syracuse by a score of 13 to 12. Kasparian carrying, going for a loss. Mike Bell, number 59, was the man who had him, and Al Benesik was the man who finally brought him down. Bill stopped him, and Benesik finally brought him down. Loss of a yard, third and 10. Third down and 10 yards to go. Here is Andy McConey, the right halfback, flank far to the left side for Penn State. Richie Lucas on the draw, gets to the left halfback, Kasparian. He is going to the 22-yard line, brought down on the 22 by Chuck Fogarty, number 29. And so, he picked up nine yards on the play, so it's going to be fourth down and a yard to go. Fourth down and one yard to go for Penn State, and they have the ball on the 22-yard line of Syracuse. Penn State 13, Syracuse 12, third quarter. 
Lucas on the keeper goes across the 20 yard line. Goes to the 19, and that'll be a first down for Penn State. First and 10 for Penn State. And at this point, Syracuse is asking for a timeout. So it's timeout with the score Penn State 13, Syracuse 12. And now, Penn State with Richie Lucas, number 33, a sophomore at quarterback, has the ball first and 10 on the Syracuse 19. And the ball is marked ready for play. Here's the right halfback, Andy Marconi, set far to the right side as a flanker. Lucas gives to Kasparian, and Kasparian slashes off tackle to the 16-yard line, picked up three. It's going to be second and seven. Dick Lassie, number 88, the defensive left end, coming over to make the tackle for Syracuse. Here are scores at the end of the first quarter. Princeton 14, Cornell 7. End of the first quarter, Boston University 15, Holy Cross nothing. Penalty marker goes down. Castrian carried. Check the penalty signal now. Penn State illegally in motion. Penn State illegally in motion as they started the man a count ahead of the snap. In motion toward the line of scrimmage. And so now Syracuse has the choice. The penalty is being refused. The penalty is being refused since there was a loss of two yards on the play anyway, and so the down counts. Not like it third down and nine as the in-motion penalty against Penn State has been refused. Joe Sable, number 67, was up there talking to the referee, who is in turn explaining the situation to the Syracuse line. Andy McConey went out as a flanker, and Penn State realized that the referee has not yet marked the ball ready for play. And now, as he drops his hand, the ball is marked ready for play. That means that Penn State has 25 seconds in which to get this ball in play. Right halfback, Andy Marconi, flank far to the right side. Lucas giving it off to Kasparian, trying to come back on the inside. And he is thrown for a loss all the way back to the 21-yard line. Chuck Strid, number 68, Ron Luciano, number 78, made the tackle. So it'll be fourth and 12 as Syracuse has managed to dig in the defense. Fourth down play coming up for Penn State. They flank the right halfback. Marconi far to the right side. Pitch out to Kasparian, trying to turn the corner. And drive. Kasparian goes down to the 11-yard line, but that will not be enough for the first down. And Syracuse takes over on down. Syracuse takes over on down. Kasparian picked up yardage, but not enough. And Syracuse has the ball first and 10 on the Syracuse 10-yard line. Mike Bill and Jerry Hershey made the tackle. Tom Stevens, Chuck Fogarty, Ed Coffin, and Chuck Zimmerman in the backfield. And it is right halfback Fogarty, flank far to the right side. Zimmerman passing. A long pass intended for Fogarty. Incomplete. That was Marconi, number 14, covering defensively. As junior quarterback Chuck Zimmerman, he likes to throw with the ball deep in his own territory on the 10-yard line. Here's a score at the end of the first quarter. Brown 7, Rhode Island nothing. At the end of the first half, Lehigh 26, Columbia nothing. And this time it is the left halfback, Tom Stevens, flank to the right side. Fogarty carrying, moves out to the 12-yard line. It'll be third down now and eight yards to go. Jack Walls, number 89, going to make the tackle. So it's timeout now with the score. Penn State 13, Syracuse 12. that man in there and has the defensive man cover the wrong man who is the passer. Here's Lindsay. Third and eight for Syracuse on the Syracuse 12. Jackson is in at right halfback now in place of Fogarty. Zimmerman still in at quarterback. Zimmerman dropping back to throw. Wanted to throw a screen pass. Can't find anyone. He's getting out to his own run and finally tackled on the one yard line. Les Walters, number 86, is the man who made the tackle. Keep in mind, of course, that the ball is spotted progress there and the fact that he was not back into the end zone does not make it a safety by any manner of means because then the ball
ball is spotted on the one yard line. A loss of 11 yards on the play, so it's going to be fourth and 19. Catherine and McConey deep, you can see them there. And it is Ernie Jackson back in deep punt formation. He has to kick as far back to his end zone as he can get. Gets the pass to kick off. Kasparian takes it on the 32 to the 30. certainly can't give Lucas too much credit on that. I give him a lot of credit. I always like to watch the quarterbacks because they are the key to the T formation. The way those boys fake, that's exactly what the defense will do. And on three plays here in this second half, he has absolutely faked the Syracuse defense out of position. I mentioned the first place was a draw play to Kiskarian on the first drive, and the second one was still on the first drive was a pitch out where he faked going into the line to a man and drew the whole secondary of Syracuse in tight, and Kasparian went around the end. And on this third play here, which scored the touchdown, was really remarkable faking by Lucas. Faked off to the man going into the line, and you would swear that he gave the ball to the man, came back and threw the 28-yard pass play to Walters for the touchdown. This boy is only a sophomore, but he handles the ball just about as well as any seasoned college quarterback that you will see. We're ready for the kickoff. Here's Lindsay. It'll be Penn State, of course, kicking off. And for Syracuse, the deep men are Dave Baker, number 16, and Ernie Jackson, number 46. Sam Stellatella, number 62, kicking off for Penn State. Kazala takes it on the 21. He's back to the 25, to the 30. And Ferd Kazala returns it to the 35-yard line. Stopped by Andy Stanchula, number 78, from Latrobe, Pennsylvania. That is first and ten now for Syracuse. Kuzala, Baker, Jackson, and Schwedes in the backfield, the alternate unit. Gerhard Schwedes, the fullback carried. Moved it out to the 37 to 38 yard line, so it'll be second down and seven. Pete Chopa and St Sam Stellatella made the tackle. The end of the first quarter, Virginia nothing, Army nothing. The end of the first quarter, Northwestern nothing, Iowa nothing. Here is Jackson, the right halfback, flanked to the right side. Number 46. The left halfback, Dave Baker, carries. Stopped just about at the line of scrimmage. Andy Cinchilla and Ron Markowitz came over to make the tackle. Sam Stellatella in on the play. of the first half, Yale 7, Colgate nothing, and at the end of the first quarter, Michigan State 7, Illinois nothing. End of the first half, Rutgers 13, Richmond nothing. Left, a fullback, Gerhard Schwedes carried, and Easton Schuller came in to make the tackle. The ball has moved up to the 45-yard line. And they're going to bring out the chain to check for the first down. Incidentally, as you know, there are college football games being played all across the land every Saturday afternoon now. So next Saturday, why don't you plan to see the action at the scene of the action. Support your local college team by attending all the home games you possibly can. 
first in 10 for Syracuse. And for Penn State, Frank Corbini, number 68, comes in at right guard. You see him now coming into the huddle. Salatelli goes out of the ball game. The ends in there for Syracuse are Aloise, number 87, and Skanecki, number 89. The alternate unit, as we gave them to you previously. Dave Baker, the left halfback carries, and he moves to the 47-yard line. And Andy Chula, number 78, in to make the tackle. Gain of two yards. It'll be second down and eight yards to go. We're at Archbold Stadium on the campus of Syracuse University here in Syracuse, New York. As the Orange men of Syracuse are defending their Eastern football supremacy, as indicated last year when they were awarded the Lambert Trophy, Bird Casala has the ball. It's a nice block and moves it across midfield. Paul North, number 82, came in along with Bud Kohlhaas, number 55. And the ball is spotted on the 47-yard line of Penn State. Again, a six yards on the play, so it's going to be third and two. Third down, two yards to go. As Bird Casala bootlegged the ball beautifully, dropping back and decided to run. Got a couple of nice blocks. Unbalanced strong right always for Syracuse. Here's Jackson, and he can throw and does. Aloise, number 87, is the man for whom it was intended, covering with Richie Lucas, number 33. So it's a fourth down play coming up now. Fourth and two for Syracuse. They trail by eight points in this ball game. It's 20 to 12. We have four minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. So here is a choice for senior quarterback Ferd Kazala. Fourth and two. The ball is on the Penn State 47-yard line. And they drop into deep punt formation. Sending Ernie Jackson back to kick. Eddie K, number 15. Pat Batula, number 44. Dropping back on the punt return for Penn State. Kicker protected with the two tackles and the quarterback. Partially blocked. Partially blocked by Schofa. And the ball is down on the 31-yard line. Gerlich was the man who downed the ball. It was partially blocked by Pete Chopa, number 35. And there was a penalty on the play. Syracuse was illegally in motion on the play, and actually that is for moving up the punt protectors before the ball was snapped. The penalty has been refused. They moved those men up before the ball was snapped, so it was partially blocked by Chopa. Gerlich down the ball. Penn State takes over first and 10 on the Penn State 31 yard line. Richie Lucas, the sophomore quarterback, still running the attack. He has the ball rolling out to the left side. He's being chased back there. Finally throws and it's complete to the 46 yard line to Chopa. Chopa to the 50. Chopa to the 46 yard line of Syracuse. Swades and Jackson made the tackle. First and ten for Penn State as the pass went from Richie Lucas to Pete Schofer, the fullback. Batula carrying. Slashes off tackle across the 45 to the 44-yard line. He picked up two, so it'll be second and eight. George Stock, number 77. Roger Davis, number 72, made the tackle. Penn State's leading Syracuse by a score of 20 to 12. Kay is carrying the right halfback, cutting back inside. Went to the 43, picked up about a yard. Martino and Schwedes made the tackle. Third down and seven yards to go for Penn State. Eddie Kay, the right halfback, flanked to the right side. Lucas drops back to throw, and he is hit and brought down. Back on the Penn State 47-yard line, Dick Aloise, number 87, in there on top of him. George Stock, number 77, was in on the play also. So it is a loss 
Of 10 yards on the play, it's going to be fourth and 17. Fourth and 17 for Penn State. Syracuse dropping back Baker and Jackson. And Penn State is asking for a timeout. Penn State takes a timeout. They lead in the ballgame by a score of 20 to 12. Two minutes, 26 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Here is Red Grange. Well, of course, in football, certain defenses call for certain plays. And I think it was very obvious when Syracuse had the ball on their first drive here, just a minute or so back, they caught Penn State in a five-man line. Penn State had been in a six-man line most of the first half. And, of course, they were watching for Syracuse passes with the five-man line. And then Syracuse started running against the five-man Penn State line. So they pulled into a six-man line, and then Syracuse went into passing. Of course, many teams will come out of the huddle without a play being given in the huddle. They will wait and see what the defense will do. For instance, if, if the defense would line up in a 6-3-2, that would certainly mean a pass play. If they line up in a five-man line, you would probably run against it. Also, I think many plays that are called and the blockers do not have real assignments. They just block the first defensive man that they make contact with. I think many coaches will tell you that from a blocking standpoint on the tee that the center is probably the toughest spot to play. It's a tougher spot to block from than the tackle because the tackle has a lot better angles on the defense than the center man. And the center on the tee formation is considered a full blocker, where on the single wing they consider him just a half a blocker because he has his head down. Lindsay? Both teams have substituted new units. Now fourth down play, and Richie Lucas is back to kick deep. Men Stevens and Fogarty now for Syracuse. Lucas in punt formation. You can see his punt protection there also. It's a high pass. Got the kick away, barely. Hits on the 20. Bounds to the 12-yard line. Taken by Tom Stevens, and he is hit right there. Sam Stellatella and Les Walters down there, along with Charlie Ruslavich, number 57. Nice coverage downfield on the kick. Of course, that's the purpose of that kind of protection. By pulling the tackles back to protect the kicker, you get the bulk for defense. You put the backs on the line, and you get speed and dexterity downfield covering the kick. First and 10 now for Syracuse. They have the ball on their own 12-yard line. Quarterback is Zimmerman. Stevens and Fogarty to the halfbacks. Coffin is the fullback. Right halfback set right. And it's Big Ed Coffin, the fullback, slashing his way up to the 20. Picked up eight. It'll be second and two. Dave Kasparian came in to make the tackle. Into the first half, Dartmouth 26, Harvard nothing. Into the first half, Brown 7, Rhode Island nothing. Into the first half, Lafayette 14, Bucknell 6. And here it is, Penn State 20, Syracuse 12. Tom Stevens, number 44, carrying the ball. Richie Lucas came over to make the tackle. And that is a first down for Syracuse as they move to the 26-yard line. First and 10 for the Orange men. They have the ball on their own 26, and we have 54 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Here is Chuck Fogarty, the right halfback set to the left side, the short side for Syracuse. Ed Coffin, the fullback, moves across the 30 to the 30. Second down, five yards to go. Time for about one more play in the third quarter. 29 seconds, 28, 27. Right halfback Chuck Fogarty set to the left side, the short side. Unbalanced line. Pitch out to the fullback, Coffin. Goes for another Syracuse first down, moving up across the 40-yard line. Joe Bohart, number 71, able to make the tackle for Penn State. First and 10 for Syracuse on their own 40-yard line. One second remaining, and that's it. That's the end of the third quarter. Score, Penn State 20, Syracuse 12. Fourth quarter. And Syracuse is faced with the problem here now of coming from behind if they are to win the ball game since they trail by eight points. And... Penn State managed to survive what has been their jinx this year, the third quarter jinx, as they picked up a touchdown. And before we start the fourth quarter, here is Red Grange. Lindsay, of course, that eight points gets bigger and bigger up there on the scoreboard. That one missed conversion, a 
course, you're a little bit more than a touchdown behind. So you've got to go for that two touchdowns or the touchdown and the place kick. And that's kind of tough here in one quarter. Lindsay? Syracuse with the ball, first and 10 on their own 40. Left halfback flanked to the right side. Instead, it is Chuck Fogarty coming back to the inside. Moved out to the 42-yard line. Picked up two. It'll be second down and eight. Jack Farrell's number 89. Joe Boyd, number 71, in to make the tackle. Zimmerman, the quarterback. Pitches out this time to Coffin, the fullback. Fakes the pass and hits up to his own 46. Picked up about four yards, so it'll be third down and four. Joe Bohart, 71, came in to make the tackle. And the interesting thing about the Syracuse team is the fact that every man in that backfield can pass. You saw the fullback that time, raise the ball up, fake and go. We've seen the halfbacks throw this afternoon, both of them, and we have seen the quarterback throw. Here's the right halfback flank far to the right half side for Syracuse. Zimmerman dropping back, throws up the middle, and it is completed up to the 45-yard line. Dick Lassie, the big man there, took it right at the 45. Andy Marconi and Joe Sable made the tackle. That's enough for a first time for Syracuse in Penn State territory on the Penn State 45. The Orange men want to keep possession of that ball if they can and drive it downfield. We're in the fourth period. They trail by eight. Here is the right halfback set to the right side, but before they can run the play, timeout's being called. So it's timeout with the score, Penn State 20, Syracuse 12.